Welcome to today's video. Today we are traveling to a rival city of my hometown, Karlskoga. A place where we from Karlskoga don't usually go unless we really have to. Maybe you have like a close by city where you live, where you feel like they always think they are better than your city and yada yada. This is one of those cases. I'm talking about the city of Örebro, which all Karlskoga folks are taught to dislike. From, um, from, the, from the day they are born. And today we have to go there because Lynn, my dear wife, has a friend who lives there. Today is her birthday. So we're gonna cross the mountains of Kilsbergen to the wrong side and we are going to swallow our pride and go to this birthday party. And I can talk a bit about Rebro when we get there, but that's, that's about it for today's video. It's gonna be a short one. Tomorrow we have a seven hour drive up to the northern parts of Sweden. Let's go! We made it. We are in the city that I don't want to be, that any true born from Kaskoga never want to be at. Örebro, or as the locals say, Örebro. The dialect is like whiners, a completely whining dialect. Everything is a problem here. We better look out not to catch up on the negativity. And as you saw on the way in, on the sign, they have the Titanic sign next to Örebro, pretty much because they all know they're sinking. So we're just gonna do this birthday party and then move on. Okay. Just to be clear, the things I said about the people in Örebro, I'm being sarcastic. We have no problem whatsoever with the people of Örebro. It's just for fun, it's a joke, it's a thing we say. We're leaving Örebro for this time. There was no fights. actually got along with another guy from Örebro. This is Henrik. Hello. Henrik uh, lives here, born and bred from Örebro. And uh, why do you think Örebro is better than Karlskoga? Uh, Karlskoga is a place for farmers. You see the conflict goes deep here. Just gonna end it there. See you around guys. Ciao. Ciao.